Hi, YouTubers. Today I'll be doing a video. I'm at Manny's Kitchen, but I'll be doing a video for my kids, the Four Sure family. What I'll be cooking is some pepper steak. There's a pepper steak. And here's the one. I'm going to show you how to cut it. So make sure when you're cutting it that you cut it against the grain. Okay, this, this, is, a, this is a salon steak that I'm using. And here's a, a ginger, a piece of ginger. I'll be using some of that. Pepper. Maybe some a blackened season. I don't know. Some crushed bell pepper. Salt. And pepper. Here's some honey. And here's some soy sauce. So you can see that soy sauce. Okay. Some rice and some uh, brown gravy. That's for, and I'll also be using some flour for the thickening. Okay then. Okay, now here's the fresh peppers I'll be using. This is red, this is yellow, and orange. And here's green. That's, I, and I use a little bit more green. When you're making pepper steaks, pepper steaks, a uh, long time ago, onions, I mean onions, and, and peppers. But pepper is the main ingredient to make the steak taste really good to me. And your onions. The red and the yellow and the orange is for color. And here's some garlic. I could have used minced garlic if I wanted to, but I cut these up. Okay, then. The first thing I'm going to do is finish this steak. I told you I was going to cut against the grain. So this is how you look. I look at it. See how tender that is? Really sharp. And I cut all mine. You can cut your pepper steak, your steak any way you want to. And you can use any kind of meat you want to. This is sirloin. I use sirloin. You can also leave, use round, you know, any piece of meat. And if you're not for sure, when you go into a store, just ask the... Uh, person in the back in the meat department, ask them what do you use for pe what the best meat to use for pepper steak and they'll tell you. Uh, they, most of them have, most of them say sirloin and that's what I'm using. Okay y'all, the first thing I'm doing with the meat, you start with the meat and I'm going to cook my rice off camera so only thing we're cooking is the sirloin, the uh, pepper steak and the uh, to put the season in, this is a very, very simple um, recipe. It don't take time. Now the prepping time is the most because you have to prep up all the peppers, whatever you want to put in there. And I'm gonna start with some coconut oil. Now I've been using this coconut oil for quite a bit, y'all. It's good, it's really seasoned good. I'm gonna put a little uh, coconut oil in there. Okay. And this right here, this is some leftover bacon grease that I had this morning. When I ate my baked breakfast, I'm going to use a little of this right here just for seasoning. You don't, that's an option because some people don't eat pork and some people do. So this is just an option. It's just to season your food. Okay. And the next thing, these are, this is fresh ginger. I'm going to put this in here because it takes this a little longer to cook. So I'm going to put this in first, the ginger. Let it start frying. And the ginger is going to make it add a really special, a different taste to your pepper steak. Okay, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna let this cook a little bit. Let it loosen up. Let it cook a little bit. The next thing I'm gonna add while that's cooking, I'm gonna add some garlic. Cause these are things that kind of you know when you bite into them, you don't like the way it tastes sometimes, but it's good for you. Ginger and garlic is good for you. Let that cook a little bit. Let that sit at that time. I don't have to cook that long. So I'm going to start adding my meat to it. Add my, my sirloin steak to it. Let that cook. Can you all imagine how when you're cooking some food that you got the ginger, you have the um, the garlic, and you also have the uh, coconut oil that I'm cooking the meat with, and I also use a little bacon grease, so you know this got to be good. 
I mean, so, and it smells so good. You can't smell it, but that's just seasoning. It's starting off very good. And so I'm going to put a little pepper in it. I mean, so I always said pepper, but it's salt. Put a little salt in here. Okay. That's a little bit, you know, because I'm going to be using soy sauce, too. And I'm going to use pepper. But if you season your food and sometimes you think you get it, you, you're getting your meat too salty or too whatever, you can add water. But the best thing to do, if you got rice, don't put no salt over your rice in your rice. Just let this season it. Put this. Let this, put, this smells good, y'all. I like pepper steak already. I'm going to let this fry a little bit. Okay, now see my meat is ready, browned a little bit. Now I'm getting ready to add the other ingredients to top it off. Now I put the uh, salt and I put the pepper. I might put a square start. It don't matter how you start because it's going to wind up in the same place. You know. I'm going to put a little pepper on it just a little bit. You don't want it too hot. Let's just add ingredients. And like I say, really on pepper steak, you don't have to put all of this stuff on it. Just try to make it look good and taste good. So I'm going to put a little, just a little red wine in it, just a little bit. If I can get it open, I'll try that later. Okay, I'm going to put some, this is soy sauce, you know. You should always put a little soy sauce on your, on your sirloin beef, you know, make it taste good. Just add it up. And what you want to do, you add these ready, you want you, you want to get a gravy too, because you want your gravy to look good. That's the soy sauce. So you don't have to put a lot of salt because, you know, soy sauce is a, uh, is a, uh, Salty. Okay, I got that off now. I'm gonna add a little wine to it. Just a little bit. When you are cooking with a skillet, make sure you hold your stuff, uh, hold your skillet. So it won't, you know, you won't bump it off. I'd be kind of scared of that myself. Did y'all see my potatoes? I hope so. Go on, on Maddie's kitchen and watch my butter potatoes. You've never seen potatoes like that before, and they are so good. I put a little honey in it. Y'all can cook this tomorrow for uh, whenever Sunday, your next Sunday dinner. But this is going to be good, honey. I got the soy sauce. I put a little soy sauce in there. I put some red wine and I put a little honey. I'm going to stir this up and let this cook. I'm going to put pepper. You can never hardly put too much pepper. Pepper really seasoned food. You know, it, it does a lot. A lot of people use more pepper. Sometimes they use anything. Put a little pepper in here. And so, what I'm gonna do next, I'm getting ready to, uh, see how good that meat look, and it's tender too. I taste some of it. I taste this one right here. Oh, mm, it's good. This season's so good. And when you see, when you're cooking your food, make sure you taste it and season it like you like it. Don't listen to nobody else, listen to you. So, I'm gonna make up, I'm gonna put a little gray, I'm gonna cut this down. I may have cut it off. I'm getting ready to use my gravy. It's just brown gravy. You can use anything. Some people use uh, beef uh, uh, broth instead of, I prefer the brown gravy versus the beef broth. Because to me, beef broth changes the, uh, changes the, uh, the taste for a pepper steak. And I'm gonna add a little flour. Just a little flour to this right here. And if you don't have a met enough, you can start back and make it with the process because I got the brown gravy, I got the flour, and I just saw you need and some water. I'm gonna get some water in here, some cold water now, y'all. And you're gonna stir this up till you get a, you know, till you break it down. And some people use cornstarch, but I don't like cornstarch on, uh, you know, meats. I only like cornstarch on pies. It's good for, it's good for, uh, for, for pies and to me, it, I, it tastes special. A peach cobbler, you can use that for peach cobbler. But my peach cobbler, I don't even use cornstarch because I don't like the taste. What I use is just flour and water. I thicken it up like the same way I'm doing that. If you try the flour to the cornstarch, I bet you'll like that taste better. Because flour, most people, some people put, uh, you know, the they have the biscuit mix. They put it in the uh, the stock for the. Uh, uh, put them in peach cobbler. Yeah, they use that. They use, you see them, sometimes they take and cut some biscuit dough and do that. And that's just flour. So you know flour's not going to do it. I think flour's going to be the best. 
See how I'm doing to make sure you separate this and see, get your lumps out now. This is just brown gravy and flour. I'm gonna put a little pepper in here. Where's my pepper? I'm just gonna put a little bit in here. Okay. Because I like to say pepper does it. Cut this back on now. I just want to let it simmer while I stir this up. Sometimes I do it off camera, but I'm just doing it so I can show y'all. Now I'm going to put this right here in this gravy to thicken up. I might have to add more and I might have to add less. I'm going to stir this up and see how it looks. Because you want, want to have enough. You definitely want to have enough for your, uh, for your, to cover your meat. I mean, I'm sorry, to cover your vegetables. So you got, got to have enough gravy for that. And I'm just cooking the meat first. So I'm put a little water in here. I'm gonna add a little bit of more stuff in here. Get a little taste. This is some red wine, which is good for cooking this beef. For beef, and this is beef. Oh, that's okay. That's enough. I put a little tap of honey, just a little bit. Okay. And let's, uh, soy sauce will be last because I got to taste it, so I put the soy sauce in there. Let me get some more water, see, because this is getting thick. This is the gravy for you. Pour it in there. Add your water slowly. Make it gravy like you want to. And this is gonna set aside. You, you gotta have enough gravy. And it, uh, you know, like if you're serving four people, you wanna have enough juice in here for four people. And cover your rice. Okay. That looking good. Thing I have to do is add some more water. And if I wanted to put some more Greek, uh, beef gravy, I could. I mean, some of that uh, stock I made for the, the flour in the, uh, if it's not thick enough, I'm gonna add this water. So here's my backup stuff in case if I need to thicken it a, a little bit more. Okay, the, uh, the sirloin steak for the pepper steak. It's almost as good to go. So I'm gonna take and set this aside. I'm gonna use the same uh, skillet to cook my um, vegetables in. So I'm gonna set this aside. Okay, y'all, I'm getting ready to start my vegetables. It ain't gonna take long, cause you want these vegetables to be a little crunchy when you eat them now, you know? You don't like no soggy vegetables. I can't stand soggy vegetables. That's a little hot, let it cool, cut it down. I gotta cut off, but it's a little hot. So the first thing I'm gonna add is my, uh, my onion. It don't matter what you add. I'm gonna let that cool down some, like I said. And this is coconut oil too. I, uh, I always use coconut oil. I'm gonna add some onions in here. And I don't want that, I got the stove stuff because you don't want these to get too funky. Just add a few handfuls, just two handfuls. Because like I said, I'll be serving by four people. You want enough vegetables. Since I have a lot, I can, uh, you know, put them in a lot. I'm going to take the green peppers now. Like I said, without green peppers, you're not going to have a, uh, a good uh, pepper steak for me. I think it's green peppers and onions. That's what they used to do. But now I'm going to put uh, for color. I'm going to put a little red. You know, just a little red for the color. And it has a taste, too. Okay. I'm going to put some... Orange and yellow. Right here. You can have your best for kind of big if you want to. That's up to you. But they're going to be done. That's the way you want to look at it. Now I'm going to start um, turning this so it will cook and brown simmer. When you put this in here, you still want this to open it all. Like I said, you still want your, um, your best to be crunchy. And I'm also going to put a little, you know, crushed pepper. It's for flavor. You don't have to do this now. But it's just an extra taste to make it look good. See, that's not pepper. And I'm turning them. Because these are going to cook a little bit in the meat, too. You're going to let it cook a little bit in the meat. So if you want the vegetables uh, to look good. Okay. 
My vegetables are looking good. You don't want to overcook your vegetables because when you're eating uh, pepper steak, you want your bread, your your vegetables to be a little crunchy. Now these are crunchy. They're gonna be, they're not gonna be like you, you, you know, you, you, they're so soft. You want them to taste your crunchiness of your vegetables. Okay, now what I'm gonna do now, we're almost at the end of this. I'm gonna take, here's my pepper steak, you know. I'm gonna take and pour this in here and let it cook for a while. And it, like I said, if it don't look the way you want it to look, when you, uh, you don't have enough gravy in here, you can always, I got I left the backup gravy that I made, the flour, the uh, gravy mix and the water and some pepper, so you don't have to, you know, if you don't have enough uh, liquid, you can do that. I'm gonna stir this up now. Let this cook a little bit. Okay. About, I'm gonna let this cook about taste it. Probably about a good let it uh, kind of simmer. That looks good to go. See I'm gonna cook uh, cut it down low and let it cook a, let the meat cook a little bit more. You don't want your vegetables to overcook. You don't want that now. They're looking pretty good, y'all. Okay. I'm gonna let this cook a little bit and I'll be ready to serve it. Like I said, I cooked some rice. You can serve this with mashed potatoes. You can serve it with rice. You can serve it with any kind of potato, fried potatoes, any kind of starch that you want, you can serve this with. Okay, y'all, here's a finishing touch. Okay, this is, a, like I said, a pepper steak with different vegetables, different type of pe peppers, the rainbow peppers and the green pepper. I also use uh, onions. And this is the other ingredients. Just check the video out. It's ready to serve. Like I said, this is the quickest video. It didn't take no time for me to do this. And it tastes so good. I taste it. And I taste some of it. I just taste the meat. It was so good. And I know the best one, but it's good to go now. And take them below this. And when you're cooking, like I say, when you're cooking, make sure you taste your food. Because you want your food to taste good for you. People, you know, they say they didn't like it. Okay, you like that. So I'm sorry you didn't like it, but I like it. Okay. Here is the finishing touch of my uh, pepper steak and onions and green peppers and yellow peppers and red peppers. Okay, and I hope y'all enjoyed this. Like I said, I was cooking this for my my kids on the four-year family. Make sure you tune in there. They have a lot of great different recipes and different things they do. And, uh, and when you finish looking at that, go to Maddie's Kitchen. You'll see the same type of food in my kitchen. I have, I have over about 40 recipes and some included into my kids' channel. Make sure you subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell and leave a comment and let me know what you all want me to cook. Thanks and have a great day. This is a warm welcome from the bottom of our hearts from the Foreshore Family Channel. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. Until next time, see ya!